Hey guys, it's me, Moomin Papa, and I'm here with a quick video on how to set up a short bot. Why would you want to set up a short bot? That's easy. You buy a coin low, and you expect it to go up higher, but it doesn't. Thankfully, 3Commas lets you short. Yes, it lets you short. You can actually profit when coins go down with a 3Commas bot, and I'm going to show you how to set that up real quick. Right now, I have fun. I bought fun at about 305, 306, and it's not so fun anymore. It started to go down, 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 down. What did I do? I opened up a short bot, and I'm going to show you how to do that too. So here is my open trade. I bought it at 305. It's down 12%. That's not good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel my smart trade. It's going to ask me, do I want to? Yes. And now I'm going to go to the bots and click on my bots. And when we're here, there is a button at the very top, short bot. That's it. Not very hard to find. So I'll click short bot. I'm going to title this bot my fun short. I need to choose the exchange that I bought fun at, which is Binance Bots. So I've chosen Binance Bots where my fun is. That means I need to choose fun. I can choose either the BTC pairing, which I purchased fun with, or I could actually profit from Ethereum. What? Yes, you can. For now, we'll just make it simple, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to choose fun. My strategy is short, and this is what I'm talking about. On the profit currency, I can choose if I want to profit in the quote currency, which is Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB if it's supported with that coin, or USD Tether if it's supported with that coin. Looking back here at the pair, and I type in fun, there are only two options, BTC and ETH. Um, so that means that I could profit, even though I bought fun with BTC, I could actually profit with the short bot with Ethereum, which is pretty cool, and it doesn't cost me anything, really. It's pretty awesome. So I could also profit in the base currency, and the base currency is the coin itself, which in this case is fun. This is a very interesting concept because you can accumulate more fun as it goes down. That's actually pretty awesome. I didn't really think about saying that out loud, but that works pretty well. So you can have more fun <laughs> while the coin goes down. It's true. Base trade size means how much fun you want to sell initially. So I could have it be anything, but it depends on my amount. So up here in the assistant, you can see my balance and I only have about 3,500 fun to short with. So I could decide to have a high base trade, which isn't a bad idea. I'm gonna make it lower and I'm gonna choose a lower safety trade size. So even though I've chosen lower amounts, I'm still over the amount that I can use the bot for. But don't worry, I'm going to show you something cool in a minute. I need to decide how much profit I want to make on this. You could choose a number uh, under 1%. I know it sounds like nothing. It sounds like a waste of time, but it's actually a smarter and it's a safer way to go being more conservative like that. I think it's better to choose a smaller percent because if you have a drop of 14%, but in that 14%, there's lots of up and down going, you can short and go I'm going to loop that like five times. No, I'm not going to do that. That'd be really annoying. You can make a lot as it goes up and down in zigzags. It's pretty cool. So Whereas if you had a larger percentage, maybe it might not reach that percentage as it goes down. So I think that smaller percentages are better because you get more trades, it's quicker, it's faster, it's just going. So I'm gonna choose a smaller take profit amount and I'm just gonna choose 0.75 rudimentary amount. We could even choose 0 0.6, 0 0.75 sounds good. Now we get to decide how we want to take our profit or rather where. We have two options. We can choose the percentage from the base trade or percentage from total volume. The percentage from base trade option means that you have a base. This is where you're going to take your profit. It doesn't move. It's a rock. You have to wait for the price to come down to meet it. And as soon as it meets it, then it sells or well, it buys and then you exit the short trade. The percentage from total volume is a little bit different in that as you take on more safety trades, 
when the coin is going up, in this case, the volume, the, the volume that you're taking on as you buy more, is going to make that take profit come up to meet it. So you're buying more, buying more, buying more, and then it finally goes down, and maybe it might not have hit that base trade at the bottom. So personally, I favor the percentage from total volume setting. It works out better for me most of the time, so I suggest doing that, but it's up to you. You can experiment and try it, but that's what I'm gonna use. So why would you wanna have five max active safety trades? As in, these trades are gonna be placed as soon as that bot sells, it's going to put those safety trades up top on the exchange. The reason why I think you want to have the max amount or something close to it is because of these flash pops that you'll get in volume where since we're shorting someone might feel like at some point this is a great deal, they'll buy a lot, it's going to eat up the order book making a spike, but really the trend is still going down. If you don't have this active, maybe the bot might not be fast enough to catch all of those. So having all those orders on the exchange, all five of them, then it's just going to hum, 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 eat them all, then you have more to sell on that volume, percentage from total volume, then you make more profit as it goes down. So I think it's better to have more max active safety trades on the exchange. You won't always use all of them, but I think it's it's a nice insurance trade. So it's a nice insurance policy on getting more out of your trades. Let's move on to the price deviation to open up a safety trade. And that's a mouthful, and basically it means at what percentage do you want the bot to open up a safety trade? The default setting is one. Let's work with that. With our current settings, that means that we have uh, more than enough fun to run the bot. And we could even add more safety trades later if we want to. Let's move this back, though, to 20 where it was. So with 20, I don't have 8,000 fun. I only have 3,500. I could change the price deviation and notice that when I increase the price deviation or the price that each safety trade will be opened in, it lowers that max amount, but not by enough to make it worth my while. And I don't want to use something so huge. So what can you do to fix that? Now you've noticed that this grid on the right has changed a little bit. See how it's getting a little bit fatter there? So I'm gonna leave it set to 1%. Um, but these two sliding knobs right here, safety order volume scale and step scale, watch what happens when I increase the volume scale. We start to get this slope effect. And what this means is that as it adds or puts on safety trades, it's and it takes on more and more and more, it's actually going to increase the amount each time. Now, this is gonna use a huge amount that I don't have, but let's think about this the other way. So this would be considered backloading your trade in that as it's taking a safety trade on, you're just putting a little bit into it, and a little bit, and a little bit, and then it, the further it goes away, you're putting more and more and more. That's okay. You could also front load it in that as it takes on a safety trade, you're gonna put more on up front, and then the further it goes away from your original buy, or in this case, sell price, the more you put, you're gonna put on more first. So when I do this, notice that it changes the amount drastically. I can also change the step order scale. And this is the amount where, you can see it's heavily front loading it right here. So it's this is going crazy right now. This is going to this is going to multiply it. So that way, my max safe order price deviation is now forty two thousand percent. I am set. No, <laughs> even though this works, this is insanity. Like I don't want the price to deviate by forty two thousand percent. That's dangerous. So what do you do? I have a max safety trade count of 10. That means that I can take on 10 safety trades at an interval of 1%, but as it moves, that those 10 trades are actually gonna look more like 26%. So it's after each safety trade is taken, it's increasing that amount. So it's, it's actually a little bit better in a sense. 
not everything is stacked together. You don't want it to be a 10% variant because as it goes up and up and up, you could make more as it comes back down. Now let's move on to the bottom part. This is really interesting. You can designate a price for the minimum and the maximum that you want the bot to operate within. So I can go back to my canceled trade and I can see that I bought it at 305. So I don't want it to keep shorting. I want to earn free coins as it goes down and it corrects and does all that fun stuff. But as it's shorting, I'm earning free coins. But then as it starts to go up, I want it to stop uh, we'll just say 305 because that's where I initially bought it. And then once it gets to 305, the bot's done. It's not going to do anything else. It's finished. And maybe it's taken out some safety trades, but that just means that I have more fun to sell at a higher price. Now I need to tell the bot when it's supposed to work. You have five different options, Telegram channel, trading view, manually or with API, Trading View Custom Signal, or Open New Trade ASAP. There are very, very good reasons for using all of these. For now, I'm just going to look at Trading View, and I'm going to choose the Composite Cell. That's a nice, easy way to do it. Composite's looking at different time frames, and based on that, and it looks like it's a cell, then it's going to tell the bot, work, and it works, and it sells. Another one that I use a lot too is open new trade ASAP. And what that means is that as soon as one trade closes, another one's going to open right away. It can be dangerous, but if I wanted to be pop, 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 then that would be an option that I could use. And it's actually pretty good too. So for safety's sake, and for those of you that are just trying this out for the first time, let's just use the trading view composite cell. And we're just going to call that good. Note that you can add more than one trade start condition. But be warned, it's going to wait for all of these trade start conditions to be met before it starts the bot. So you might not want to do more than one, maybe two. And if you were to do two, maybe five minutes uh, strong sell and then one hour sell would be a good combination, I think. But we're just going to do composite. Sell. And now we need to create our bot. After we've created the bot, we're going to see all the settings in a new window. And this is showing us everything. We could also share this and we could copy this and use it with a different exchange. And all of the parameters that we've programmed are here in Viewable. And we can go back and edit our bot if we want to make some changes. Note that you can't edit any changes while a deal is in the works. You have to wait for that deal to close and then it will use and apply the changes that you last made. So the last thing to do is to start that bot. It's going to ask you, do you want to start it? Yes. And then you can decide if you want to open a new trade right now, or if you want to let the indicator do its work. And that is it. I know there's a lot in there and you might have to watch this video more than once, but it's worth your time to use this shorting bot. It is going to make you more money in your trades with three commas. It's worth your time to figure it out and to use it and implement it in all of your long trades because you never know when something's going to not have so much fun anymore. Well, that's it for this video, you guys. It wasn't as short as I wanted it to be, but I still hope that you guys had fun. 